So we discussed the history of sampling, but what are the real uses for sampling in machine? I'd break it down in about four main reasons that you're actually going to need to be using sampling for. The first would be to maybe resample internal audio. So this could be for a couple of reasons. Maybe I have a pattern and I just want it in waveform and I could just resample a certain section for however long I want or maybe just resample a hit, anything like that. Very easy to go in and do that. Uh, maybe you actually want to free up some resources. Maybe you've used every single group and you're full and you, you want to bring in more drum kits or more instruments. Well, you could just resample onto another sound and have a loop playing triggered by one sound. So you could actually do it like that as well. Or think about it for if you're using a lot of VSTs and your CPU resource is really getting loaded up. Well, then you could actually just, you know, resample a synth line from your favorite soft synth and have it then resampled in as a specific audio sample. And then you can actually delete the uh, VST or audio unit plugin so you can free up some more CPU resources. The second main reason would be to record audio in from an external source. So if I have a microphone and I want to record a rap vocal or sing into, you know, machine with either the machine's internal effects or using other plugins on top of it, you can do it like that. You can also record in from pretty much anything, you know, a bass guitar, regular guitar, hardware synth, a turntable, iPod, pretty much anything. The third main reason you're going to use sampling is probably to chop loops or to chop shots. So if you have a loop of something and you actually want to, say you have like a nice breakbeat drum section and the drums are isolated and you actually want to get these individual hits, well, you can actually go in and chop it up to the point where you've isolated each chop onto its own pad and machine. So essentially you could take a drum loop and then re-envision it as a new drum kit. And then you can play and record with this later. Same thing for just a one shot. Sometimes you might hear like a nice stab in a song, um, a nice vocal line or something, and you just want to grab a, a simple part and maybe filter that out. And so you would only have like a nice melody sound. You can actually do it like that too. And then fourthly, the last thing you might want to use machine sampling for is as a really cool sound design tool. So we're going to get deep into some of that stuff, um, how to turn actual sounds into instruments and do some pretty inventive stuff like that. So these are the four main uses for sampling um, inside a machine, I would say.